The prodromes of modern tapping technique came from classical music. The first one who introduced tapping on guitar and violin was Niccolo Paganini, inventing new techniques in his Grand Sonata for Violin and Guitar. For centuries, stepping was used in a lot of stringed instruments such as banjo, ukulele, guitar, and baklama, especially in folk music. The modern way to use stepping was born in 20s, 30s in America, and the first one who revealed the tapping techniques on stringed instruments was the tap feather, Rise Mac. Last century tapping was used by many jazz guitarists, and one of the pathfinders explained it better was Jimmy Webster. of musicians deepened the tap technique and among these we remember Tal Fallow, George Van Epps, Barney Kessel, Merle Travis, Dave Bunker. to tap guitar in different musical styles has been introduced by a self-taught Italian doctor in the 60s during a television show called Chitarra Amore Mio. His name was Vittorio Camardese. Dicono sì, e non lo so, io ho sempre suonato in questo modo. <ride> Lei ha studiato da solo, tutto Sì, sono un autodidatta. autodidatta sì, non conosce conosco, la musica? Non conosco musica. <ride> Vogliamo vedere praticamente sì, che cos'è questa. Sì. Ecco, la tecnica consiste in questo, che io invece di pizzicare la corda, mm -hmm. la percuoto. Mm -hmm. Sentiamo una... Sì, un pezzo. Un pezzo sì. Cosa è? Bellissimo. Ho un, un mambo. Un mambo. Un mambo, sì. At the end of 60s, Emmett Chapman developed a whole way to tapping, inventing a new instrument, the Chapman stick. At the 
same time tapping began to be used in blues and rock music by many guitarists innovating tapping technique very deeply in the modern form we know. Among these it's fair to mention Jafe Mandel, Randy Resnick, Steve Eckett. <laughs> In the late 70s, two-handed tapping was spread in the definitive modern way by Hedy Van Allen, and together him, tapping was commonly used by many guitar and bass players. Sono con la scaletta in i sambio, non